How to DIY your own indoor crawler course obstacles. Check this out. Oh hey, hi there. Welcome back to Rackham RC. Today I'm going to start another DIY 4x4 obstacle course for these 124 scale crawlers. And I got my favorite building supplies here, mostly because they're free. So I got some styrofoam, some cardboard, a couple pieces of wood that I'm going to build the obstacles on top of. And of course, the flour that I used to hold it all together. And don't forget the newspaper. Step 1. Building the base. I start by breaking up the styrofoam and laying them on top of the piece of wood. I'm using masking tape just to hold everything down kind of in place. My idea with these builds is something that is comparable to the indoor kits that are available online for sale. And I wanted to build it so that it was something that you could pull out, throw on the carpet, and anybody who just picked up a ready to run RC truck could just have fun playing with it. It's not going to create any mess in your living room on the floor and when you're done with it you could pick it up put it on a shelf it looks good sitting there you can set your trucks on top of it The masking tape worked, but I think next time I would maybe hot glue the styrofoam down instead of the tape. As I'm laying down the styrofoam, I'm trying to arrange it in various ways to create a lot of articulation and rock croppings that would be interesting to climb over.
there's the base layer for the first obstacle complete. Now let's move on to the second one. For this obstacle I wanted to make kind of a hill climb. That's pretty much the shape of the second obstacle, just a little bit more tape to hold it down. Here you can see me cutting the tape and pushing it down into the holes around the rock. I think that will work out nice. Just a quick test and yeah, I think it'll work. And here are the two obstacles with their base layer complete. Step two, paper mache. I start with two cups of flour and three cups of water. I'm adding half of the water and mixing and then slowly adding more until I reach the right consistency. You're looking for something like pancake mix. When doing the paper mache, you want to saturate your newspaper on both sides and so it gets really nice and sticky. The video quality on this first layer didn't turn out so good, so we'll speed through it, but I wanted to show you how I pushed the paper mache down in and around the styrofoam.
Here's a quick look at the second coat. Be sure to let it dry between coats of paper mache. I found that one cup of flour and one and a half cups of water made enough paper mache paste to do a coat on both obstacles. The more coats of paper you do, the stronger the obstacle will be in the end. So keep applying layers until you think it's nice and strong and firm.
Doing the multiple layers of paper mache gave me opportunities to switch up the camera angles. I would do two coats a day, one in the morning and one in the evening, leaving enough time for each layer to fully dry. At this point, the obstacles are really taking shape and I'm liking the way that they're turning out. When you're happy with the strength of your obstacles and you think you've done enough layers of the paper mache, do one more just for good measure.
had a little bit of glue and bristol board left over from another project so I decided to put the bristol board on the bottom and do a light coat of glue on top although I don't think that was really necessary. Step 3. Paint and Primer. I'm starting off with some acrylic primer. I'll add a little bit of black acrylic paint to tint it. Putting on primer isn't all that exciting, but I can still hear my high school math teacher. You gotta show your work. Plus, I think it's kind of relaxing to watch. Thank you. 
After a couple coats of primer, I go with a darker coat. After a couple coats of primer, it's time to add some texture. You can really just go to town painting these happy little rocks. After blotting on the different colors, use a dry brush just to kind of blend it a little. And then I go over the top with just a little bit of white for the highlights.
And here we are, my two finished obstacles. I think they turned out really nice. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.